G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are many flavoured cake recipes out there, but the one thing most of them have in common is they all look pretty much the same on the inside. So today I'm going to make it look a little more interesting. So join me today as I make my version of a marble cake. Okay, so to start off with, into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in 200 grams of softened butter. Then to that, we're going to place in one cup of sugar. Now using a hair mixer or a stem mixer, we're going to beat these together just until it comes out pale and creamy. Okay, so as you can see, it is now pale and creamy. So to that, we're going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to crack in one egg. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix this until the egg is completely incorporated. And once it's thoroughly mixed through, we're going to crack in a second egg and mix it through completely again. Okay, now that it's been mixed through, we're going to place in half of our milk. And then half of our self-raising flour. Now if you don't have self-raising flour, just add two tablespoons of baking powder. So once you put half in, we're going to beat this through until it's well combined. Okay, next we're going to put in, place in the rest of our milk and the rest of our flour. Now don't over mix this, we're just going to mix it through till it's just combined. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to grab our mix and we're just going to evenly divide it between another two bowls. So all up we'll have three bowls with our mix. Okay, so in our first bowl, we're just going to place a few drops of red food coloring. And we're just going to mix that through. Okay, now into the next bowl, we're going to add in two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Then a tablespoon of milk. Then we're just going to mix that through until it's well combined. Okay, so next I've got a spring form pan here. Now what I'm going to just do is, with some cooking spray oil, I'm just going to give it a quick grease. And then what I'm going to do is, grab a large spoonful Place a spoonful in different spots of the white. Then I'm going to do the same for the red. And finally, we're going to add in our chocolate. And back to our vanilla. And we're just going to keep on doing this until we've used up all the mix. Okay, so what we're just going to do now is just going to just even it out, just so it's nice and uniform on the base. And one final step, just in for inside purposes, we're just going to just move it around just a little bit, just to combine it. You don't want to combine it too much, and that should be enough. And we're just going to pat that down again, just so it's even. Okay, so once done, we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about, say, 35 minutes, just until when you put a wooden skewer in the middle, it comes out clean. Okay, so I've taken the cake out of the oven and it's cooling down. So while it's cooling down, we're just going to make a very simple icing. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in our softened butter, then our icing sugar, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder, then about one and a half tablespoons of milk. And then just like the cake, we're going to beat this with a hair mixer or a stem mixer until it's well combined. Okay, so I've got a cake and I've let it cool down. So all we have to do now is grab our icing and we're just going to place it on top and just spread it around. Just so it's nice and even. Okay, and there we have it, a lovely slice of marble cake. So you have a chocolate and vanilla flavor going there, but you have three colors which make it look so much more interesting. But it comes down to what it tastes like, so let's give it a go. Oh, now that is fantastic. It's a fluffy cake, and it also is slightly moist as well, which is just fantastic. And this cake really took no time whatsoever to make. It was that simple. But with those chocolate, vanilla, and different colors all going at once, this cake tastes simply delish. So if you're after a cake that is just that little bit more interesting, then I guarantee this is the cake for you. So give it a go and let me know what you think. And especially if you do make it, please leave a link on my Facebook page, because I'd love to see it. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients is down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus pages. Please do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up and leave a comment, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.